have I, a mic, I like that. What's, yeah. uh, what's happening here? Yes, hi Kirk, I'm Angel Lopez from Pageant Notebooks and I would like to interview you, please. Sure, let's go. Okay, so first, my first question, it was announced earlier that yeah. Ms. Ro Mr. Rowe, 2024 will be held here in Manila. Well, no, what? it's not official yet, but not. there are. It's definitely a possibility. So please go on. How does it feel that you heard that rumor? Maybe that news. I have. I have zero expectations. No matter where it will be held, I know I will my. I will do my best. I will be ready. Of course. Being here in the Philippines, if it's gonna be here in the Philippines, it will be absolutely fantastic because I believe the Philippines has one, maybe not even the best, most supportive fan base there is. And of course, I will take every support system there is on the way. So, of course, I will be happy, but it's not final yet. So, we have to see. Maybe in the next two days, we will know better. And meeting uh, Miss Julia Morley and our reigning Miss Royal Carolina. Uh, Bilalska today, how does it feel? Stunning, it feels very relieving, it feels very good to see them in person, especially talking with Julia, the way how she um, she directs the pageant, that she stays very traditional to her core values when it comes to how she um, likes to develop the, the pageant industry right now especially with Miss World. So overall, very positive, and it makes me very proud in representing the Philippines in this pageant, Mr. World Philippines, because I get a lot of requests and opportunities from other pageants to participate in them, and it's always the same question. It's always the same answer. It's no, because I chose Mr. World as my pageant where I will compete, and it wouldn't be any other pageant for me as well. So um, our Miss World organization and um, the reigning Miss World will go to different charitable institutions this week. So, will you join them? I will definitely be in contact with Gwen after this one year. It's really depending on my schedule because, as you know, this weekend will be very heavy for uh, the Bench Fashion Week where I will mm. be working non stop because I'm one of the bench ambassadors. And after that, I also have other schedules when it comes to my own charity work and my own personal work. So if the schedule is right, I will make time and um, we'll see about the schedule. Some pageants have already banned swimsuit competitions, so what's your opinion on that? Say that again, please. I'm sorry, what's your opinion on some pageants that already removed swimsuit or swimwear competitions? They're a piece of cake. I mean, for me it's not a big of a difference because I'm always swimsuit ready, but if they're gonna remove it, then so be it. It gives more, more opportunity to show who you are as a person and your personality, so either way, I'm good with it. Lastly, what's your message to the Philippines and the whole world? Please be more kind to each other. There's so much things going on right now. You can just be more kind to each other. This is very simple. I know it's cliche, but if it's just even your neighbor, just say hello, how are you, to your friend, ask them. Give a call to your parents, to your mother, to your father. Just be a good person. There you go. Thank you so much, Mr. World Philippines 2023. Thank you so 2024. Yeah, Maybe. The longest Mr. Yeah. World Philippines. Kurt Wanda, thank you. What information can you publish right now with certainty regarding to the next Mr. World? For you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Arnold, or for you, Mr. Sure. First, first of all, I wish I was 100 years younger. <laughs> but, but having said that, um, you know, um, with Mr. World, we had a wonderful time here in the Philippines. Um, I'm here talking to Arnold, trying to twist his arm, because we've had, and this is supposed to be, well, it is confidential, I don't have to name the country. We've got five different countries that want Mr. World. I, my choice um, would be to come back because I know Arnold very well. On the other hand, if Arnold feels he wants to miss a year, then we will be going to another place in Asia, um, which um, is fighting to, to come along. And then there's also a place in Europe, and even London. So um, I say even London because there's somebody in London that wants it. So in the next few days, I will be able to give an answer. So I will be twisting uh, his arm, and I will be saying, because he had it last, and he is a great supporter, an amazing guy. We love him dearly, he's one of the family, so he comes first. And if Arnold, if Arnold decides to make that decision, that's up to Arnold. Otherwise
otherwise it's going to be immediately accepted as work. He is the one who supported us, and he is the one who should be able to finally let me go or let me stay. <laughs> Sorry, no pressure. <laughs> I think I told you, he's absolutely, I mean, I'm not an old lady, but wow, isn't he beautiful? He's amazing. He's amazing. But he's also got really a good brain, and that's what we want. Like we do with our young women, we want someone who's smart, fun, sense of humor, and he's certainly got all those things. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, everyone. All right. Yeah. What are you talking about? Since February. No, it's I think she's Somebody from the staff can also assist General. Madame Julia. General. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From which platform are you? From which network are you? Uh, from Star Page. 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 Star Bloggers. Star Bloggers. For all the bloggers. Yeah. All the <laughs> supporters. All the supporters. Hi. Hello, everybody here from the Focus Team. Alright! I'm just going to ask you about your favorite movie and TV series. Alright, oh, my favorite movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go. 